Hello, viewers. I'm Patrick with Amazing Picture Studios, and as always, is my wonderful co-host, Dan. Hi, guys. And today we need to show you something before I unveil this to you. Let me give you some context. You remember on the Going Module video, link will be at the bottom of the screen, when I said that this is a good... DIY disposable space station? Well, Dan was working on something. Taking my design of my DIY disposable space station and turn it into a, something a little bit more permanent. And may yeah. I introduce to you the Cambiasso, the Cambiasso, Cambiasso, Cambiasso station. <laughs> this is a modular space station. Yeah, I'll walk through uh, the uh, majority of its design because I put it all together. Um, now, imagine, so, uh... now imagine this. You have a space station out in the middle of nowhere. You went ahead and docked a cargo module to it for this station to have supplies. So we actually came up with an adapter to his docking mechanism so that way it's compatible. Anyway, Dan, yeah. where'd you go? I'm above you. <laughs> Here, let's lead on <laughs> all right so first off what we're what we have here is uh, we have uh, one of uh, our uh, standard docking modules that's compatible with uh, Patrick's system that he originally designed we're just gonna enter through this because you know standard design you know this is the cargo container uh, module for uh, Patrick's space station design all of the ferry design where you uh, oh, auto save god damn you Auto save. Anyway, um, we're just kind of going through here. You know, we've already gone through these modules before. Well, the uh, cargo modules work. Anyway, this point here onward is my creation. What we're walking through right now is what's called the uh, the docking port adapter because my docking port's a little bit different than Patrick's. Uh, Yours mainly, is like a... mine's not as wide and. Yours is like a three by three docking port, while mine's like a a three by five. So it's like a three by five to three by three adapter. Yeah. Anyway, coming into here, this is what's known as an eight way docking port right here. Basically, you can go up, you can go down, you can go in any of the circles. Now you have to go. Um, for going down, it's easy. You just open it up and drop. But uh, for going up, you have to actually turn on your jetpack. Um, we do this for simplicity's sake because otherwise, it's going to make life really, really difficult. So anyway, oh, empty space. Okay, it can be quite confusing too, <laughs> as you can well see here. Okay, anyway, there's a room behind this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, through this room, I have a feeling. We're gonna get really close to, uh, we're actually probably gonna go into our commands. Yeah, this is the command center, I believe, yeah. As you can see, we actually did a stellar job aligning these, so they actually worked really, really well. Anyway, lots of doors, engine compartment. Uh, see, each of these modules, uh, I'll go over this uh, right now while we're in here. Each of these modules has two of these engine rooms. Now, what these engine rooms allow us to do is allows us to drive and orient each module separately. So unlike Patrick's, which requires towing in order to put into place, this this one here you can actually move and assemble each module separately. So it makes it a little easier to align, and uh, you can just basically drive all the modules out individually and then put them together for whatever the heck you want to do. But anyway, on through this door. Right here. Oh yeah, this this is really cool. We're gonna we're gonna hit you guys with something awesome right off the bat. First, we're gonna start with the non awesome part. As cargo. we're gonna show you the command center and cargo. Oh god, I'm tweaking out. <laughs> yeah, you're like going through walls, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm tweaking out, okay. But where'd you go? I'm a million miles away, because the for some reason the the docking ports have glitched. Anyway, what Patrick's gonna walk you through all yep. the uh, stuff because this is a command center it has a bunch of different little modules not modules but a bunch of little uh got a bunch of little terminals that uh, terminals, allow yeah. us to uh, communicate and control 
the communications aspect of the station because if you look on top of the command module, the command top of the command module has um, antennas on top of it. Ceiling with so, light. Uh, in the future, when they actually add antenna support, then um, we're going to actually have communications, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Anyway, I think I made it to. Uh, I rejoined. I will find you shortly. Oh, did you just exit? Yeah, I had to because everything was doing the twisty bug. Oh, wait, was the whole yeah. station spinning on your screen or something? Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, well then, anyway. I'm going to walk you through this part of it. This is what I like to call the observation deck. A little more than that. It's actually kind of... It's a, it's a journey. It's a place of nowhere. It's, it's really awesome. It's... You're it's looking great. out onto That's the rest great. of the space station, and you get to look out onto the black abyss of space. It is beautiful. All these doors! Lord. Yeah, and then, uh... I'm gonna walk you th back through the space station. This okay, way. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm okay, okay, here oh, I am. There you are. Okay, I'll follow yeah, you. Hey. Lead on. Yeah, okay, Lead anyway. on. Back to following me! Since I, since I, we're just gonna retrace where I came from, okay? So we're gonna go back through this little eight port switch here, and we're going to go through this door. Now where this door leads is it leads to a, uh, this kind of leads to a passageway block, that's what these are. There's not really anything in them, you know, just, just passageway. It's a really good passageway, I thought it was a very good idea to add that in. Yeah, because otherwise our modules wouldn't be able to nest with one another. A million doors later, we're to another eight-way block. And basically, off to my left here is going to be a hangar. I really should have labeled these, but oh well. I, 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 peeked, nice. I sneak peeked, okay? I, I looked out the windows before I went, okay? Same. Anyway, <laughs> this is our hangar... This is our hangar, um... Landing pad module. module. Yeah, once it, once again, it's kind of like the same thing as my landing pad module, except a tad bit bigger. Yeah, it's got a little more space for landing things, and you know, it uses my little docking mechanism, and blah blah. blah. We can use one of his landing pads too, if it really suits us, so. But the cool thing about setup. this module setup is that this isn't the only configuration. If you wanted to, you could expand this thing to, you know, max before your computer crashes if you wanted to. Yeah, just you copy crash your computer with oriented. this if you want to add yeah. in that much mod, that many modules. Uh oh, I think it's flipping down on me again. Uh oh, we'll see if you disappear. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, I'm good too. Ah! <laughs> the wall ate him. Oh god, <laughs> it's so horrible. Anyway, Patrick, continue <laughs> while I'm glitching out. We're gonna walk you through this area. I don't know what's down this hallway. <laughs> because I didn't build the thing. And... A me there's some medical things here. Oh, it's the, uh, it's the crew module. This is where the crew quarters is, so that way you could come and uh, sleep here. My nice little sleeping... Little sleeping quarters idea. Like I had, like I added in in a couple videos. I've showcased these multiple times as a little individual sleeping area. And it's oh, like hey. mirrored on... Oh, hey, you're back again? <laughs> yeah, you, you went to the same module I spawned in. Okay, yeah. It's mirrored in uh, each each crew quarters here. Um, has little viewports so you can just kind of look out. You know, I, I made real creative use of the uh, catwalk block. So you actually kind of have cool windows where you can look down as much as you can look up. You know, it's kind of cool. And the beds. They I sign. like the beds. Yeah. Yeah, the bed designs. And then there's these little uh, storage containers. For individual for gear. Yeah, for stowing, stowing stuff. Oh. oh the only stuff. downside is we didn't take, uh... We didn't take, um... We, we didn't take advantage of the solar-powered modules yet, because they're kind of useless. Yeah, we already have reactors in each of them. We have six... We have actually... we have. 12 reactors in each module, so there's plenty of power for these little guys. It's a lot of anyway. Anyway, we'll just keep going on here until I crash again or have a weird bug. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Yeah. We're just gonna leave doors open to places we've been before just to make it easy. 
Oh, more passageway block. Okay, I have a feeling this is the refinery. Yeah, this this so here is the refinery. Gonna... But uh, okay, so we're in the refinery. All these doors. Now all these doors are normally going to be open for the well, most all part. All these for doors. The... Yeah, all these doors. Anyway, uh, what we have here is we have a basic refinery. Or we have storage, you know, refineries and uh, assemblers. Now the cool thing about it is I, I took advantage of the uh, implementation of the uh, refineries automatically moving materials into assemblers. Mm -hmm. And so basically what I did is I just, you know, attached them and arrayed them all the way across. We got some large reactor here, reactors here to power this uh, large setup here. This is mirrored on the other side and then we got cute little observation windows so you don't have to go in here. Now, if you haven't noticed, the uh, the doors on the refinery and the storage containers are actually aligned. The reason why is once, as soon as they get the conveyor block working, then uh, we're gonna I'm gonna connect those together. So uh, we'll have a completely automated refinery system. Um. Anyway, there's not gonna be anything out that way. <laughs> anyway, this is the longest stretch of straight run we have here, so we're just gonna run all the way all back through. All the way this. back, and then down. And we're gonna come down, and we're gonna go visit the medical bay. And hopefully the walls don't eat you again. It literally looks like the walls eat you. No, it's further, it's further, man. Oh, whoops. Anyway. It's through one more yeah, passage. See, I, it's so easy to get lost because I haven't labeled anything, so. We're gonna keep going, we're gonna go back to the back, next one back. And the nice thing oh, about this, this is it's all completely modular, so you're actually able to go pretty much. <laughs> I got it. Pretty this much. Is gonna drop. Pretty much everywhere. Like this, this isn't the one and only setup. This is all of the setups. Like the setups for this thing is infinite. I think this is the right way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. We made it the right way the first time. Okay. Oh yeah, notice that there's also a grav generator in these engineering in this uh, little room here. That's to provide gravity for each module independently of one another. And okay, basically this is an empty space. This is for a control center system soon. We just couldn't figure out what to do with it, so it's just here. It's, Once I guess again, community challenge. Post something in the comments, please. And tell us what we should put in here. Yep. Within reason. I mean, if you ask me to put in a death machine or a giant golden penis. Oh my god, he's getting eaten. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glitching again. Alright, well then. Goodbye, cruel world. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you go through one of the doors. It is an individual you're, you're medical bag with a bed. A, um, it's going to be the passage block complete with its own separate um, medical station. Medical station. And basically, this is, this is like the hospital. The hospital Module. wing. Oh shit. Yeah. And uh... Basically... Continue. It's a real nice setup. It's... Each one of these things is an individual, you know, sick bay room. I mean, like, if you're wounded... Oh my god. You have some of them upside down, man. <laughs> Uh-oh. My bad, anyway. It still works, so believe it or not, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, uh... You kind of have a nice view too, you know, part of the viewing deck. Oh yeah, I want to be there for the uh, cool, cool part. Okay, I'll, I'll wait. And this last little part is pretty cool and we need to show you. Oh, I see you! Yeah. I'm coming! Okay. Anyway. Lovely shit. Hey, don't shoot me. Put that gun away! This is the medical bay! We don't shoot people here. Anyway. <laughs> but I can wound you, so that way it's useful. Oh, that's true, but they don't have that implemented, at least not in this mode. We're in creative mode right now because we're just showing you what you can do with your uh, materials. Anyway, this is the most badass room, like, I think ever. We ever made, ever. Basically, what this is, is this is the observation deck, so I'll see me again. <laughs> I got a good view of that one, man. You, like, did this whole, like, weird jumping thing, and then you just shot away out to the middle of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> How far away are you? Oh, uh, let's just say I'm a, I'm a decent distance. <laughs> Alright, so this is the observation deck. It's really nice, and it's really cool looking. Yep. Yeah, yeah, anything you want to add in? More, yeah, well, it's basically uh, it's kind of like a cool uh, 
observation deck, this kind of, you know, civvy observation deck, where it's command bridge is more for a command, you know, even though it looks badass, you know, it's not really meant for everybody. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the whole station, and uh, each one of those modules you can easily duplicate, reorient, and connect together in a myriad of different connections. We're going to include this system in the Fleet World uh, package that we're going to put on Space Engineer, so you can actually download this and view it and have fun. And I'm going to go uh, ahead and put a deadline on here. We will have the Fleet World uploaded onto Steam Workshop the first of, uh, what's the next month? April? April. Yeah, April, the first actually. of April. April Fools. It'll be April Fools. April Fools, yes. April 1st, we'll have this updated, except it's not an April Fools. I'm actually being legit serious. Yeah. <laughs> Although it <laughs> might be irony. April... It might actually be <laughs> March 30th or 31st, whatever day the March ends, for you guys yeah. oh, because yeah. Japan time, I'm a day ahead. Oh yeah, and for those of you who just can't get enough of the sky experience, you can jump off of this, drop down, and go completely underneath for the uh, full, uh, oh my god, nothing's below me. Uh, I mean, and it's perfect. This is a perfect build too. You even have these little these little armrests here, so you can sit around and stare at the abyss of space and wonder what the hell are you doing here? What did you do with <laughs> your life? <laughs> yeah, it's great. Depressing. Anyway, uh, but this is a nice module. Everything. This whole thing is once again based off of that module design we put in the last video. Except this is like yep. my module design beefed up to be a big DIY space station. And when I yep. said this is a DIY space station design on my original build, I was not joking. This is yeah, a literally DIY space station. That. Yeah, you can literally combine uh, any and every module in any format you want. You can rotate them any way you want. You can orient them any way you want because the docking pattern is square, so you can just orient things however the heck you want. Um, we'll just go out this back door here just to make Fly it easy. Around and show yeah the exterior yeah so basically this is just the back this is the docking port system that we have here um it's slightly different from mine this is a three by three mine's like a three by five but this is the ultimate diy space station this thing literally took like 30 minutes to align and put together i mean yeah, just because just we had the modules minutes. yeah and this is a great design for it. I definitely have to give it my approval and say that Dan is a worthy opponent for one-upping me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Well, in terms of uh, designing space stations and stuff, yeah, the I little think eight block the... is actually the only thing I really created that's new because it allows us to interconnect things. And as you can see, the medical bay is actually dropped below. But you can really <laughs> orient anything any way you want because that's just how it's built. I think the only... Awesome. The only reason that we keep building bigger and better things is because the second I built something, Dan wants to up one up me, and then I want to one up Dan, and we just keep one upping yeah. each other until the design is fucking perfect. Anyway, that yep. is all for now on this modular system. Once again, I'm Patrick from Amazing Picture Studios, and I'm Dan, and this is the most awesome space station ever on Space Engineers. Have a good day. Yep. <laughs>